So when you develop insulin resistance and that progresses to diabetes, you can't produce enough insulin to get sugar into the muscles. And this is complicated by another factor which ties into this cascade of metabolic disease, which is eventually fat starts spilling out from the cells that we are meant to use to store excess energy, which are our actual subcutaneous fat cells. And that fat starts spilling into other areas where we're not supposed to have it, into the muscle, which is what's causing the actual mechanism of insulin resistance. It's the fat in the muscle that is preventing the insulin signal from being heard effectively by the muscle cell. It also expands into the liver. That's what's called fatty liver disease. The fat starts to be deposited in the pancreas where insulin is made, and that creates an inflammatory environment to the insulin producing cells. So now you have the double whammy you need more insulin, but you can make less of it because of the inflammation. And the end state is type 2 diabetes.